happening. Our very own brother Oseni uh, clashes with um, <laughs> Festus Keyamu. Festus Keyamu is wanting to view the questions that must be asked in Ubu should he come for an interview or a town hall meeting. And Oseni said, what do you mean? It's supposed to be spontaneous. Nigerians can call in and ask questions and get, you know, because they want to understand. If you say you want to lead them, they want to know what you would do regarding the problem that are on ground, what you intend to do to better the nation. So the era of soft conversation is over. We cannot vote blindly because we all know the truth. Yes, we, yet we take positions that are, that are really unnecessary and, you know, that have not, you know, deemed us well as a people. So he said to him, what do you mean? Sincerely, truly speaking, what do you mean? You know, this is the clash that they both had. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. So interviewers can't ask questions again. The era of soft conversation is over. Oseni blast Festus Kiyamo. A notable Nigerian writer and uh, a host of the TV, of an eminent TV, Rafi Oseni has responded after the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Festus Kiyamo, winged sharply that some television source questioners act in a way to bring down people who came for interviews. While responding, Oseni requested to know whether questioners can pose in inquiries one more once more yet a few proxies can be rough they went further and expressed it obviously that the time of delegate discussions is finished taking note of that we really want genuine discussion and further develop our country nigeria we don't want lies festus keyamo on 23rd november 2022 Hot a few questionnaires regarding the majority of them that they are sidelining and want to make Tinobu look like he is not ripe for the country, wants to take advantage. On a few events, Hosseini has grumbled that a few allies of his ideology group had gone after him because of the way he asked their allies questions during meetings. The manner in which things are going appears that Oseni has an ulterior motive. Oseni has replied Festus, your principal has not come for any meeting. What ulterior motive could I possibly have? And why are you not asking him to do the needful for Nigerians to speak out and to join Nigerians in this very matter? Why are you making it look like uh, Nigerians are the one who, uh, you know, who should... Uh, be answering him or who should be excuse me why are you doing that so this is first Keyamo trying to defend his principle because of tinubu and the tinubu himself has not showed up for any meeting the ones he has been called upon he has not showed up he reluctantly i mean blank the people right before our very eyes telling us that uh, we are not good enough to 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 hear from him yeah, he's not president yet, but he's already behaving as the president. Because that's what Buhari is doing. He doesn't talk to Nigerians. He doesn't. Even when there was pandemic, in the height of it, leaders, nations of the world, yeah, you know, having that conversation with their people, encouraging people. We know that this is a difficult time. The whole world is going through a pandemic. We know that you are going through this. Even then, Prime Minister of Great Britain, himself caught the virus and he was you know in an intensive care unit he was still there he was addressing the people from that point from that very place he did not say the people did not deserve to hear from him even in that very despair he was still addressing and was still speaking to the people you know it was in uh what's it called london hospital and yet he was still con having that conversation with Nigerians that he, uh, with uh, with uh, Brits that yes you know this is going on this is this is happening you know we know and uh, we need together uh, you know raising the hope of the people even though he cannot possibly do anything tangible at that point in time but he kept raising the hope of the people now comes to come to the other side of the island they said well Buhari addressed the people 
leaders of nations of world. First, first of all, we got a message from um, Garu Bashewu. You cannot tell Buhari when to talk to you. Buhari must not talk to Nigerians. That was the first point of call. That he cannot tell Buhari when to talk to Nigerians. That he cannot. He cannot tell Buhari. He would talk to Nigerians. My dear, every other people we encourage, that's the leader we have. Oh. Funny enough, we put him there. Oh dear, we did. We did. With our own hands. 2015, some people warned. I said, what I see, I see danger. I was saying, oh, day, what? What, what did you say? Day, there is no day. No, no, no. We, we died here. There we there we there. There we there. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, you understand me now. There we there. What am I saying? You know, I might be making a bit of fun here, but I'm, tr I'm truly like really passing out a message that it's not a time to gamble with our choice of who becomes Nigerian's president. Whatever happens going forward, we will have to live with it. And so we cannot be on serious in order for us to get the best of leadership. We cannot, we cannot be on serious. We cannot be on serious. We just can't be on serious. We just have to be honest, ready, sincere. Okay? We just have to be that. And telling ourselves that it is time to advance, move forward, and ensure that nothing holds us down. Nothing. Like nothing. Like nothing. So it is the dawn of a new day. If anything is going to change, it has to start from you and I. We all will have to ensure that change become, you know, our watchword. And we are not, uh, we're not, we're not, mind, we're big on it. We're not, we're not mindsing on it. We're going big on it. Okay, we're going very big on it. So it, it is a serious point of call, a serious one. And Nigerians, you can all see for yourself. These are people who tell you they want to lead you. Have you really thought about it? What are they leading? And why do they want to lead? Is it because they want to add another feather to their cap? Okay, and make it look like, yeah, we've added another one. Another one and another bag, we've bagged it up. Is that what they want to do? Or seriously, because they are passionate. They can see, you know, the, the issues going on in the country. And they've made up their minds to contribute. And to bring their own quarter. Because they feel that they've got a solution mandates on, their, on, the, on them and they want to, you know, ensure that at the end of the day, we are all, you know, rising up on the same area. So these are things we cannot afford to be here and there about. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now. Bye-bye.